Hi, together I'm, I'm Martin, um, the co-founder co of uh, Evo Motors. Um, just let me speak briefly about um, what is Evo, what we are doing. So we founded that company in 2017. And uh, from as of today, we have more than 1,000 vehicles already on the roads uh, in Europe, which we produce and sold. Um, what we are doing, we are developing and producing it themselves in Germany. So the product is made in Germany. We have more than 120 employees. What we managed in the last year since the funding and since our entry into the market is um, have a growth of more than 100% year over year. Last year we had a revenue of about uh, 20 million euro. Um, as of today we raised about 60 million equity and 12, 13, 12 and a half million um, venture debt from the EIB. That's what we are, what we are standing and what we, what we realized even during what we are doing now is that only switching vehicles from combustion engine to the electric ones, it's probably not the most efficient or the best way how to do it because what, what you have with an electric vehicle, it's actually a mobile power bank. And especially if you are using vehicles for work, like in B2B business, municipalities and so on, it definitely makes sense. The battery becomes an, um, an asset which you can use and you, 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 you can address. And, uh, but let me briefly introduce the vehicle which we have. We have like two versions of the, of the vehicle, the, the, the EVOM and the EVOM XL. It's a um, fully electric vehicle with all-wheel drive. Um, it's about uh, the longest short version, a four meter long, the long five meter long. You can, under the XL, you can put up to four Euro pellets, uh, more than one ton of payload, and definitely zero emission. And every vehicle which you deliver has a telematic unit where it's very uh, connected to a cloud. We are collecting the data. We can do, the, some, can do some fleet management and so on. From the customer point of view, 70 to 80 percent of our vehicles um, are being sold. We are selling them to municipalities because from what we see now uh, in all over Europe, there is a clear mandate from the European Union and from the European Commission that um, the fleets have to be electrified. Um, many cities in big cities, metropolitan areas have budgets. They need to do so in the next two, three years. And that, that's, that, that's, a, that's something what we are approaching and not only with selling vehicles, but we are trying to understand how municipalities and even other customers work and optimize the f thing, how the vehicles is, are being used and optimize the way the, they work. And in that case, we can have much more impact than only with selling electric vehicles. And that, that's why we have different platforms. We are working, our biggest customer is City of Fond in Germany with 20 vehicles, but there are many other cities uh, using smaller fleets uh, as of today. And, um, Besides municipalities, we address uh, definitely the industry uh, sector area with, with our vehicles and agriculture. Of course, the vehicle is all-wheel drive, it's off-road capable, so it uh, can be used even in, in the agriculture area. According to the impact which we have with these vehicles, um, it's uh, calculated with a German uh, mix during production with um, zero emission during usage. We assume that the, you are using green energy, which definitely makes sense with an electric vehicle. We are assuming that with uh, every vehicle, we have around about 41 ton of CO2 savings, which uh, compared to a combustion engine a vehicle, that, that's the impact. So as of today, with 1,000 vehicles, it's 41,000 tons, which we had already as an impact. And on the other side, and that's, that's what we are always saying, um, especially with the electric vehicles, it makes sense to look at the total cost of ownership. Not only about uh, on the selling price, how we, we sell the vehicle, or the selling price, but over during the lifetime, in the, this case, it's 10 years, 150,000 kilometers, which is quite good matching from what, what we see in the cities. Um, it's more, it depends on the energy price. Germany has a quite higher energy price. It's 25%, but it's somewhere between 25 to 40% for our customers that they can reduce their costs. It's even for cities, it's a, it's a good thing that they are reducing costs, they have even clear targets on that. And on the other side, what, what our approach is, we know that the vehicle is a kind of a workhorse. It's, 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 it's meant to be used for, for work. So our approach is to make it as easy as possible for the customer. So you only don't see anything fancy in the vehicle. It's very rugged, very, very easy to, to maintain and even to use, to drive. Um, and we see that the intelligence and the, you know, the engineering is behind that, but the, the customer could not see it. And um, on the other side, from our point of view, 
Um, what we definitely see is, and that's the, the, what we are working on now and we will provide to customers, we will be able to deliver at the end of the year is going into V2X, V2G solutions um, with a bi-directional charger because uh, the fleets which you are addressing, municipal fleets, you know the vehicle, you can plan how they are being used. We know that they are leaving at 7 in, in, in the morning, coming back at, at 3 p.m. And then you have 15, 16 hours of the vehicle, which is being there in the garage parked, plugged in, where you can use the battery and where you can access it. And that's, that, that's the solution what we are working on, the technology what we are working on, to not only be an energy hub, like a mobile power bank, which we already are. Which, uh, you can plug appliances in the vehicle, you can get out the power out of it, but on the other side, even to be, be able to put the power in, into the grid, and you, you know, the battery becomes an asset and can be used, even during the vehicle is not, not being used, which is optimizing the impact which we have on the one side. Uh, on the other side, it's uh, definitely uh, optimizing the TCO total cost of ownership of, of our customers. So that's something which we will deliver at the end of the year. And um, as mentioned, our aim is not only to optimize, to switch fleets, but to understand how work is being done with our vehicles, and in that case, optimize the use cases and prepare a perfect vehicle, a perfect solution for our customers. And uh, what we want to become is, as of today, we are a vehicle manufacturer who is delivering vehicles to our customers. Our aim is to become within one or two years a wall solution provider for our customers, where we not only provide vehicles or sub vehicles, but we are providing a wall mobility solution and energy solution with our partners, which we are uh, working on uh, to the cities or public sector, you know, in order to reach our impact, which we want to reach, and in, 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 in order to become a solution provider and have even yeah, more revenues and, you know, have a closed loop within the customer. So if I'm here, if you have uh, some questions, I have definitely looking forward to, to our discussion. Where is Marco? Marco here. Yeah.